So number four on Mark Ween's list, the top 25 things to do in Bangkok is to visit a floating market. And I'm not gonna tell you that visiting a floating market isn't worth doing when you come to Bangkok. It very well deserves to be on the list. But I've changed it up a little. And number four on the new and improved Bangkok list to rule them all is Chinatown, also known as Yao Rat. Mark had this way down at number 25 on his list. Man, number 25. That feels like ages ago. That was only a few weeks ago, but I've covered a lot of ground in the last few weeks. And if you've appreciated the hard work I put into the Bangkok challenge, you know I only got one favor for you guys. Just give that like button a tickle. Just go ahead and give it a little tickle. Now, let's go for a tour of Chinatown. Bangkok's Chinatown is one of the most vibrant areas in the entirety of the Big Mango. It's a nickname for Bangkok for you newbies out here. It's got everything, senses of sights and smells and sounds. And I'd highly recommend coming here day or night. And to get here, you could take the subway, the underground MRT, get off at Wat Man Khon Station, and then you're right in the heart of it. And you're also right at Wat Man Khon Temple. There is some good temples and shrines worth walking around, especially if you come in the day. Watching you on the Facebook. Oh, really? Yeah. You follow? Yeah, today oh, is my birthday. It's your birthday? Yeah, and I come for the Meta Merit. Oh, happy yeah. birthday, Thai. Thank you, thank you. It's Cheers. Bomb. And if you come in the day, here's a tip for you. There's one of Bangkok's best back alley noodle shops that if you can find it, you gotta try it. And that's the thing about the back alleys in Chinatown. It's the coolest part of this place, but I'm gonna let you guys discover the various back alleys, the sights, the smells, all on your own. I'm gonna take you to the main attraction, perhaps Bangkok's most famous street. And to do that, I got my favorite special guest. How's it going, Haley? Good, how are you? Not bad, how are you Hello. feeling? You excited? Good. Yeah, I'm very excited. Let's do this. All right. Oh. <laughs> so Haley, what are you getting? Crab cake. I style crab cake. <laughs> so Haley's got the first dish and you can see like it's just all hustle. It's bustle. It's activity. There's lots of sit-down restaurants. We've just snuck up a little side street. Do you think we'll find somewhere to nibble on this? I hope so. <laughs> you blowing on it? Yeah, it's a hot. So I'm gonna go into it with a little bit of the sauce here. Haley avoids the sauce. I'm an absolute sauce head, as she likes to call me. Oh, it's dripping. Mm. Oh, it's good. Crispy on the outside, very fluffy on the inside, almost like a texture of a fluffy omelet. Meal number one, thumbs up. These are the traditional, I call them Thai donuts, and uh, this guy must be good. And that's the thing about Chinatown. Some of these just single carts have a lineup. Look at this, all the way around the corner. just noticed that we're in front of one of the many shark fin soup restaurants. Not sure how you guys feel about the shark fin soup. But it's definitely everywhere here. As are lots of delicious stuff cooking over open coals. Boil, boil, toil and trouble. What's in your cauldron bubbling? Lots of tasty stuff in Chinatown.
So this is basically how it works. He's grilling up fresh seafood, scallops, shrimps, cockles, crabs. This guy shouts it out, yells out the orders. They got a bucket of live shrimp here. And then over my shoulder is just a, a sidewalk full of tables and plastic chairs where there's people enjoying very, very fresh seafood. I give you the world famous Thai slushy machine. So we ended up walking down a side street, went down a couple hundred meters. It's endless here, the amount of eating, drinking, fun you could have. And speaking of fun, this reminds me that today's video is dedicated to Australia. G'day out there, mates. You guys have watched the fourth most retired working for you videos. I meet a lot of Aussies in the street. And I gotta say, this Vegemite's for you. Nothing like a warm thing to wash down your Vegemite, mate. This street looks interesting. A lot of restaurants and a lot of people. Let's check it out. How Tom with a lot of side dishes. There is a chicken feed, there is a meat, there is a fish. What are you getting? Mamuang. Sour mango. Sour. There's sour. a live translation yeah, for you. I'll just grab it with my hand. Like a sour candy. Yeah, it's crispy. Mm. Almost the texture of a same crunch level as an apple, but obviously more fiber, it feels like. Oh, I love this. And it's a really nice way to beat some of the Bangkok heat. They're pretty refreshing. 30 baht, less than a dollar. So it's an extremely wide street, but it's not quite wide enough for all the people. They'll have barricades up and you're kind of separated off. The, normally what would be parked cars is all the food stalls. And then there's still three lanes of tuk-tuks and motorbikes and taxis and minivans. This is why I say this street defines Bangkok's vibrance perhaps better than any other. Yeah. So this is right where we were eating the sour mango, Haley, and then we just saw this lady scoop up what looked like some delicious rice, chopping up some chickens. So we just ordered and sat down, and suddenly we got a nice table, eh? Sauce ahead. Pretty simple. Chicken and rice. We're going to dip it in the sauce because I am a sauce head. This one has some breading on the outside. Mmm. I prefer it when they mix it up with the uh, sour onions and the shallots and stuff. How much, Haley? Jesse baht. Jesse baht. 70 baht. So that was less than $2 for that plate of chicken and rice. You can just eat, 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 eat here. We haven't even made it halfway down the street. Look at how many people are out here eating. Oh, look at that. Coconut yeah. ice cream? Yes. With On fresh shaved coconut, coconut inside. Yes. When you eat this ice cream, you have to eat with the peanut. It enhances the flavor. It's not that sweet at all. Oh, wow. This one is the good one. Really good one. This is riddled with coconut flesh. The ladies scrape it out of young coconuts. It's hard working for you, oh. followers. <laughs> no, I, was, I was hoping I'd see you. Mm. I've been following you guys, especially Where are you the from? UK, nice. London. London. Right on, ma'am. see ya. You live here, you're traveling here? No, we're traveling, uh, we just come back today. All right, well, he, you, you, you made it on the best of Bangkok, Good, Chris. Man. There Good, you go, man. brother. Good to see you. Cheers, ma'am. Talk to yourself, see you, right bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Shout out UK. Yeah. 
Soy Nana, not the Nana Plaza Nana. This is still in Chinatown, and it's become like a bar street for mixology, cool, hip, young, funky bars. For Thais and expats alike, it's very, very cool. It was featured, I think, on a show called After Midnight, um, the Bangkok episode on Netflix. One of the bars was featured here, and it has a super cool vibe, but I gotta rest up. I got a big, big three days coming up. We're down to the top three. Can you guys guess what they are? Number one, number two, or number three, or all of the above? Drop a comment below. I hope that someone can start guessing some of them. And Mark, I hope that you're gonna confirm with me. I only got three days left, Mark. We gotta meet three days from now, buddy, please.